data accuracy, data quality. Lots of these assumptions, particularly data around gender and sexuality, that we can somehow, if only we design the best, the most amazing data tools, we can somehow capture data about the lives of LGBTQ communities that is extremely accurate or high quality. And I think those words are actually very loaded, ideas about quality and accuracy, because there's a risk, and what we're seeing right now in Scotland particularly, is that it can be flipped on its head, where actually, if you then say your tools are accurate, but there's something still up with the count, then who becomes inaccurate is a person being counted. Mm. And we see this particularly with discussions around the counting of trans people and how this kind of flipping on its head, that actually the problem isn't with the data systems, the problem is with trans people. They are being, they're putting themselves in the wrong box, they are counting themselves incorrectly, they're just being a frustration to these data systems. So I think, again, if we can kind of be really mindful of words like data accuracy, data quality, and think how they can be, because they're presented as being objective or apolitical, they're actually masking a lot. And it's kind of accurate for whom or quality for whom. 